What's up guys, welcome back to Code Wizard. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to deploy a simple node application to Heroku. So I have this uh, simple node application, which just simply retrieves index.html and the about.html. And this is what it looks like here. On the home page, you can see it just prints out hello world, and then you can go to the about page and it will give you the about information. So right now, this is running on localhost 3000. And we want to deploy this app to Heroku so you can actually share a URL link with your friends so they can actually go to your website as well. So to deploy a node application to Heroku, the first thing you need to do is to create a Heroku account. So go ahead and go to heroku.com and then from there click on sign up. Now, once you get to the sign up page, this is pretty much like signing up for anything else. You just, you know, enter your information and then it will give you a confirmation email to confirm your account. And then from there, you'll be able to log in. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. So once you do have an, an account with Heroku, go ahead and log into your Heroku account. So once you log into Heroku, go ahead and click on the new button in the top right corner and then click on create new app. And then from there, you want to give your app a unique name. So I'm just going to type in node demo wizard. And you can see that it is available. And then we click on create app. And then from there, we'll scroll down. And the next step is we want to install the Heroku CLI. So you can see here, it gives you a link for the Heroku CLI install page. So click on that. Now, if you're on a Windows, you can just go ahead and install the installer and just go through the install setup there. If you're on Mac, you can see it gives you a one command line here for the, for the terminal, which you just copy and paste into your terminal, hit enter, and then it will install Heroku for you. Now, one thing to note, it does require Homebrew to be installed. You can see where it says Brew. So if you don't have Homebrew installed on your uh, Mac, just go ahead and open up a new tab and type in brew.sh and then copy this command here to install homebrew. And then once you have homebrew installed, you can actually copy this command. I have my terminal open here, paste it in, hit enter, and then we'll go through the install setup. Now I already have uh, Heroku installed on my computer, so it will just give me an error and say Heroku is already installed. So once you have the Heroku CLI installed, you're going to go ahead and copy this Heroku login command and paste it into your terminal. And then from there, it's going to have you log into Heroku. So it wants you to press any key to continue. Hit login. Now, once you're logged in, you just close the tab and return to your application. So you can see now that I am logged in. Now the next step we want to make sure is that we actually have a Git repository. So I already have a Git repository here and to figure out if you do have one, you can just type in Git status and you should receive no errors there. But if you need to install Git, just type in Git init and then go through the setup procedure. The next thing you want to do is copy this command here. It says Heroku Git remote. So copy that, paste it into your terminal, hit enter. All right, and now this is gonna be our remote repository on a Heroku. So once you have the Heroku remote repo, you're just gonna copy this command here. It says git push Heroku master, paste that into your terminal, hit enter. And then from there, it will go through its process to deploy to Heroku. So once your app is deployed, you're gonna copy this URL here and paste it into your browser. And this is the actual URL you would share with someone if you want them to see your application. So go ahead and paste it into your browser. And now from here, you can see that it says application error. Now, the reason why it's giving you this error is because we actually have to create what's called a proc file. And the proc file basically tells Heroku what to do when it comes to starting the application and how to start the application. So we're gonna create a new file and just call it proc file. Hit enter and in the proc file, we're gonna tell Heroku where to start this application. So we'll type in web and then we'll type in node app.js and hit save. So you can see here, app.js is actually my server. So I want Heroku to 
start the application by going to this particular file here. If you're not sure really what to type in here, you can also go to your package.json and look at any of your scripts uh, and also where it says main. And then from there, you can kind of figure out what you have to type in. So right here where it says main, I have app.js. So I know in order to start that particular file, I need to type in node space app.js normally in the terminal. So you just basically put that information here in the proc file. So once we have created the proc file, we're going to do git add all, git commit, we'll call it proc file. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and redeploy. So git push Heroku master, hit enter. So once you've redeployed, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the URL that we deployed to, open up a new tab, enter, and you can see the application is working properly. So if you're still getting a application error, there's a couple things you want to check. Uh, the main thing is this port here. So this particular node application is using Express, and I will listen here on this particular port. Now you can see it says process.nv.port or 3000, which is the local. So I make sure that I set it to process.env.port, and this is basically required for Heroku. And if you don't have it set up like this, then you're still going to get the application error. So that's how you deploy a simple node application. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Like the video, subscribe, and thanks for watching.